Hey everybody, this is a picture of me with my grandchildren a long time ago. So, if you're interested in what I look like on my good days, there I am. So, I just wanted to do an update. Not even a 24 hour update. But this is, I guess, my Diffenbachia. Suzette of Suzette's Gardens on YouTube said it's a Diffenbachia. Here we go. These are the dead leaves. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them. And then little bits and pieces. I just decided to cut them all off where they were. So I still think maybe they were diseased. It couldn't be frost because this was summer because they were outside. But I noticed when I first bought it that these leaf tips started to go. I probably should have just cut them off before. But they're off now. So I'll just show you one little guy here. Hang on a second. Here is my peace lily, and what's really funny is the white, the white ones are now variegated on the back, but they bloomed a long time ago outside, so I wonder if those are really seeds. Here's a little update on my Hoya. This is my Crimson Queen. You can see how pretty she is. There's my reverse irrigation Hoya. Let me get it off its hanger. Try and do two things at once. I love this plant. That leaf is especially beautiful. Camera's not focusing. This yellow thing is to catch any um, fungus gnats. They're kind of neat. I bought them off of eBay. I don't know what the link is. Here's my pagoda plant, Suzette. There's one leaf that's gonna die from the cutting you sent me. 
This is just some transescanthia. Baby bunny bellies. This was part of a hanging candle thingamabob, and I bought it at a yard sale. So it was this piece that held the glass candle holder that broke. And then there's a stand, and I'm using that to hang another plant. So there's my carry eye. Here's my DS70 or whatever its name is. Here's one of my succulents. This was hanging in the garage and it's got as low as in the 40 degrees. I made this little macrame thing. These are like triple knots and then knotted the bottom. And I can adjust it. And you can see how it's jerry-rigged up there. I've shown this before. That's an over-the-door hanger. There is my burrow tail, which didn't hang over the pot when I bought it. This is a beautiful syngonium that has, like, olive green on the back. Here's another syngonium that I forgot to water. So that's why it looks like that. Here's a crimson princess, Carnosa, that reverted back to green. You can see it's one leaf right there. Here's my kangaroo paw. I don't know why this isn't focusing right. Maybe it's because I don't have my glasses on. Then here's this guy. I'll put the name in the comments section and I put that little piece of fluff there because one of the flowers formed a seed pod so I wanted to be able to remember where it is. There's another one on the other side but it's doing really well. So those black hooks you can buy at Lowe's and some of them I had to stretch a bit up there to fit over that square. This is my Brazil. You can see how full it is. I just love these leaves. Everyone's different and look at how elongated that leaf is. There's some pretty leaves. And then here's a little old green one. And one other Here's a quick update on my cystus find. Just about all the leaves that wanted to fall have fallen. And the other leaves, they look pretty healthy. Hope I'm not making you guys dizzy. I'm going to pause one more time. That leaf might not make it, but I think that's the only one that doesn't look good. So let me pause. Here's one of my beautiful, from seed, coleus. There's another one. And I know you're supposed to pick the blooms off, but I decided since they were a pretty color, I'd just leave them there. And these guys have the mirror there. You can see the phone. Mm, I better make sure it doesn't show my face. <laughs> Anyhow, here's another one. Look at that glorious leaf. I love the texture on it. Here's another one with a glorious leaf. And to let you know how big that leaf is, that's how big. And look at this one. Then here's a little Hoya cutting for my mama plant. And then there's some more. So it's a mess. But I've taken over all my countertop room. So God bless you all. Please click the like button. 
Please subscribe if you find things interesting here. In the comment section you can ask me to maybe do a video on a plant you'd like to see. Some care instructions. These guys are just in water. You can see the roots there. I just rinse the water, change the water and rinse the roots. So hopefully they will grow. So God bless everybody. God bless your family, yourself. God bless your plants. And may you have a happy weekend. Take care. God bless.